Here is the profile for the shaker knob and it includes a center line some extensions at the ends that will be helpful later in the process. We need to do a follow me turning of the profile so to do that we need a circle path. Notice that when you bring it in that was a green color. We need a red that was the wrong orientation. We need red color so I orbit a little bit to get the red color then make the circle path on the blue axis. Pick the path with the select tool then choose the follow me tool and click on the profile. Now we've turned the knob but notice some issues at the top there, some gaps and hole that uh, we don't really want to have. So I'm going to undo this. Uh, that was a problem with the small shape. So we're, we need to scale this up by a factor of 10 to get rid of those issues. And we'll use the scale tool, pull on one of the corner grips, and type 10. So we've magnified the size of the graphics by 10. To see those graphics, I hit zoom extents to see the enlarged uh, shaker knob. We'll run through the follow me again, picking the path and clicking on the face. Now you can see on the larger 10 times size, we don't have those gaps and hole that we uh, showed before. Delete the path now and we need to reduce this down to its regular size. So uh, pick all the graphics and the scale tool again and this time we'll type in 0.1 or one tenth to get the knob back to its original size. Hit zoom extents and there it is. A couple issues here that we need to take care of. All these extra lines on the surface we can get rid of with soften smooth edges. And then also we have the blue color. Uh, let's, let's change that to the front facing color by reversing faces. And that completes the knob, but, but we do want to make this a component. So we'll select all the graphics, right click, make component, and then type knob and hit enter. I have a warning that we already have a knob. I replace it anyway with this knob and that's the completion of the shaker knob.